Uh, Mark, a 1-0 uh, defeat here in Daly Mount Park. Your thoughts after the game? Just very harsh. Uh, we come here, we knew it would be our game. We Probably unlucky not to go 1-0 up with a free kick. We worked really well to get Woody in. Woody, Woody's got it at the target. And then sort of the game changed on the sending off. Carl's he got done for identical bookings. I was thinking about bringing him off just before it would happen because Georgia Kelly's that physical type of player might turn you. But it's not, it's not a mistake if he learns from it. He's a young defender and hopefully he can learn from it. But that sort of changed the game. And then we fought with probably dealt with the situation, done enough to get a replay and then they scored a goal that was, you see it on the CV offside and we thought we might get treated harshly here and we did. In terms of the game itself, did you think obviously the first half under a bit of pressure, was that almost what you expected from, from Bowles? Yeah, but no, I, think, but I don't think they had a shot on target. So we was dealing with it and I think a few of the players, probably the occasion got to them or the atmosphere because they didn't play as well as they should have. But we were still in the game at nil nil, and as I said, we probably had the best chance in the first half, other than their penalty that Murph saved. And then to get done like we did at the end, we feel very, very unjust. I see second half going down to ten men, as you mentioned. How tough a challenge did that obviously become? Even more so then. Really tough because you got nearly the whole half to deal with it, because with the uh, injury time added on, it was harsh. And to get undone at the end, we were screaming that we thought it was offside the goal and. Looking back on the TV, it was, so, yeah, very harsh. Obviously, the penalty, the injury, obviously, the two reds, how tough of that is to concede when you concede, though? It is. To concede at the end's hard. But, as I said, we sort of knew what we was probably going to get today. And without going into it, that's what happened. So, it's, it'd have been more disappointing if we weren't expecting it. In terms that's all of, I can say. Obviously, in terms of here, obviously, that's the stadium absolutely packed, but... Obviously, to see that Blues fans behind that goal must have been oh, incredible. Our fans were magnificent to make that journey up. And I just feel feel bad for them that it happened so late on in the game. We felt bad for our players that the work rate was second to none on them. They were fantastic defending-wise. And we thought we might have been out of nick it, even with one of the long throws that was going in there at the end. Look, we, we gave her everything and it just didn't pay off. Regroup now for Monday? Yeah, well, with what little group we've got. We've got now, what is it, three suspended and... and Prince is out with a knee. We've got uh, Matt O'Connor injured his knee in training yesterday. It was whatever could go wrong. We had waterlogged pitch for three days in Waterford before the game. We had to come up to Dublin to use a pitch yesterday. So, look, we what we've been through, it was hard, a hard week for us to deal with and we nearly got over the line, but we didn't because we let in an offside goal.